Today is Monday, April 20th. I'm Molly Trotter. Thanks for joining us this morning. Our big stories today, an argument over a truck turns into a deadly situation in Josephine County. Plus how one Boston Marathon bombing survivor is trying to make more prosthetics available to more people. And we're starting off the week with another clear, cool morning so far. We are. News. A car crash in Josephine County leaves one man dead and one woman hospitalized and the driver behind bars. News 10's Justin Matthews shows us how a teenager drove into a tree, killing a man in the back seat of the car. A 43-year-old man found dead in Josephine County near O'Brien. Oregon State Police say an argument broke out between two men over the ownership of a truck. When police arrived, former cellmate of Susan Monica takes the stand in her murder trial yesterday. News 10's Jessica DeNova reports on what was said. Crews in Josephine County responded to another fatality late on Saturday night. One man died in a car crash near Cave Junction. Welcome back to News 10. Good morning. I'm Molly Trotter. Let's take a look at stories making headlines this morning. Crews in Josephine County responded to another fatality on Saturday night. One man died in a car crash near Cave Junction. Guilty. That's the jury's verdict for Susan Monica. That decision came in yesterday from the jury. It was a fast moving trial for Monica. The jury found her guilty on two counts of murder, two counts of abuse of a corpse and one count of identity theft. During her six day trial, the jury watched as the defense tried to convince that Monica's final story showed that she wasn't guilty and though she may be a little weird she's not a murderer that comes from her defense attorney Monica says that she found her former tenant Robert Haney almost half dead eaten by her pigs then shot him as a mercy killing prosecutors argued that she shot him first with a shotgun and then fed her to the pigs Monica says that she shot her handyman Stephen Delacino as self-defense ran and forgot to close the barn door that's when her pigs got to him the Medford Police Department presenting to the city budget committee next week about receiving funds to implement body cameras on officers. New since Justin Matthews explains why officers say body cameras are a part of law enforcement's evolution. A local business is helping add some flavor to the Washington Federal's new branch location in Ashland. News 10's Jackie Garrity shows us the unlikely pairing where you can now go to grab your cup of coffee and cash at the same time. And now they have a one to nothing lead in the series. So pretty good uh, game for the Grizzlies for sure. And hopefully Portland can bounce back pretty quickly. I'm hoping so. I know all you Blazer fans out there, we know we have a making of a great team to go far in the playoffs. I know those Golden State Warriors are pretty tough. Steph Curry is uh, yeah. pretty hot right now, but I'm crossing my fingers here. Yeah, hope quarterback Tim Tebow is already getting a warm welcome to his new town in the form of a pretzel. Tebow signed with the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday. One Philly shop designed a Tebow lookalike in dough form. The Tebows sell for about a dollar a piece. A shipment of the pretzels was also sent to the Eagles to the team as well. It's so good. <laughs> like the the right. pose is perfect. Very yeah. nice. Just yeah. like the real thing. It is. I'm sure it's tasty too. A good pretzel. Is, you know, oh yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, nice fresh. Uh, what a warm welcome. Get it? Uh, pretzel. Yeah. Warm welcome. <laughs> yes. Well, we are looking for a cool down. And Earth Day is Wednesday and Southern Oregon University has events all week to celebrate, starting with a rideshare meet and greet today and ending with a volunteer day at the campus Arboretum. Activities throughout the week include a workshop on natural skin care. Do I see a little uh, thunder showers, like a, mm, some lightning yeah, that could Yeah, like we're saying later seen this afternoon, that. we're wow. actually going to see a chance for it. Wow. Well, I guess we can watch out for that. It could be an exciting show. So yeah, the cool down will be nice for most people that don't enjoy the, the high heat. We still have the sunny thoughts. Yeah, it'll, we'll still always have those. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning. We'll be back again tomorrow.